Southeast Asia refers to the group of countries in Asia that is located geographically south in China, east of India, west of Eugene, and north of Australia. It is composed of Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Malaysia, Singapore, East Timor, Philippines, Brunei, and Myanmar. In this unit, you shall discover the beauty of the musical cultures in the Southeast Asian region. You will have the chance to be familiar with the songs, instruments, and customs of each nation and gain appreciation of the music of each country. To start our lesson proper, here is the learning competency for this day. Explore ways of producing sounds on a variety of sources that would simulate instruments being studied. Let's have a short recap about vocal and musical instruments. Vocal music is performed by the singers and it is made for voices, while musical instruments are any devices producing a musical sound and also a method of producing sound. There are four common classification of musical instruments, namely membranophone, idiophone, chordophone, and Aerophone. Membranophone is a sound produced by the vibration of a tightly stretched membrane. Idiophone is a sound produced by the body of the instrument vibrating. Chordophone is a sound produced by the vibration of a string that are stretched between fixed points. While aerophone is a sound produced by vibrating air. Our lesson for this day will focus in these two, the vocal music and musical instruments. Before we proceed to the vocal and musical instruments in Thailand, let's have a short discussion regarding Thailand. You can find this country in Southeast Asia. Thailand, formerly known as Siam and considered a sole nation in Southeast Asia because it was never conquered by Western powers. That's why Thailand called as Muang Thai or Land of the Free. History and geography indicate that Thai music is conglomeration of Asian influences. Its musical principles and elements are basically derived from Chinese music, while its musical instruments are inspired from the Indian and Indonesian strings and gong. The Thais combines and adopted this to their culture and created their own unique music. Here are the sample vocal music of Thailand. The first example is entitled Admiration of a Sleeping Mighty. It's about the fondling of a maiden's lotus flowers. <laughs> The next example of vocal music of Thailand is Chang. Chang is about elephant. Music is theoretically based on the five tone or seven tone scale system. Just like in Thai folk, music consists of simple songs with simple melodic lines. It is not only confined to the royal courts, but also used extensively in dance, theater, and in ceremony. Thailand has three primary musical ensembles that are similar to the other ensembles in Southeast Asia. They are Pifat, Krangsai, and Mahori. Pipat is a mid-sized orchestra that performs in either outdoor style with hard mallets or indoor style with padded mallets. Pipat is traditionally associated with funerals and formation ceremonies, and also it is used in Thai traditional drama such as the Large Shadow Puppet Theater, Nang Yai, and the Kon Dance Drama. Now, here are the sample performance for Pipat Ensemble.
Kansai combine some of the percussion and wind instruments with string instruments. Kansai is primarily used for indoor performances. Like in the stick puppet theater. Let's watch the sample performance of Kansai. While the Mahori is traditionally played by women in the courts of Central Thailand and Cambodia, but today Mahori can be played by both men and women. A vocalist performing with the Mahori is usually accompanied by the Sosansai. Here is the sample performance for Mahori.
This country is an independent state of Southeast Asia and officially known as Lao People's Democratic Republic. The capital city of Lao is Vientiane. It is formerly part of the Indochinese Union, also known as French Indochina. Like the other countries in Southeast Asia, the classical music and dance of Lao is highly influenced by India, Cambodia, and Thailand. The music of Lao is often described as the music creates true lives filled with toil and sweat. It is a product of labor, struggle, success, and celebration. Despite the limited documented resources about their music, the Laotians have a musical culture that they are proud of. Most of the themes of their traditional music are drawn from Hindu mythology, the Buddhist Jataka tales, and local legends. The royal entourage of Lao kings traditionally included musicians, and a typical orchestra improvised song with sets of tuned gongs, xylophones, a bamboo flute, and other wind instruments. The Lao orchestra can be divided into two categories, the Sepnyai and Sepnoi. Now, let's discuss the differences of these two categories of musical ensemble. Sepnyai is similar to the Fifat of Thailand with instruments that are strictly percussive but also integrates the use of an oboe. While Sepnoi is also known as the Mahori of Thailand, however, it incorporates the use of several kene, which is a large bamboo mouth organ and is the most popular folk music instrument of Lao. The kene that I'm talking about is like this. This is an example of an aerophone or wind instrument. It looks like the most of the countries in Southeast Asia have a lot of similarities in their musical instruments and types of music performed. Their musical influence are similar to one another as well. Now, let's see if Vietnam has a similarities to the other countries. So, meaning, each group of people has their own musical culture, and the description of their music vary from one genre to another. However, there are some general observations made about Vietnamese music, like there is no absolute pitch in Vietnamese music. The tone scale must fit the voice of the singer and the instrument use. Just like in other countries in Southeast Asia, its musical elements and musical instruments are basically derived from Chinese music. It is also shows signs of Indian influences, noticeable in improvisation preludes of chamber music known as Rao in the South and Dao in the North Vietnam. The traditional and folk music of Vietnam can be separated into a few major categories, divided predominantly by the way in which were used in the people's cultural lives, namely imperial court music, folk music, and the religious and ceremonial music. The first category is the imperial court music. The most popular of this kind is the nanak that was properly performed during the Tran dynasty to the Nguyen dynasty. This form of classical music is also performed in honor of the gods and scholars in temples. Other classical music falling into this category include the Dainak, Great Music, and the Tiunak, Small Music, which was performed as chamber music for the king. Now. Let's watch the sample performance of Nanak. The second category is the folk music. This category is extremely diverse because it includes music performed both indoors and outdoors. Performers of this category are also diverse. They may be professional musicians down to the blind artists in the streets who perform to earn their living. And the last category is about 
religious and ceremonial music. This is the music performed in religious rituals or at the funerals.